Gary Alfred Sayers owned and became president of Electroplating Services in Madison Heights in the late 1990s. According to the Department of Justice, he almost never properly disposed of the hazardous waste his company produced. From cyanide to toxic chromium-6, he kept it all. Ignoring years of warnings from environmental agencies at one point, he even dug a pit in the basement to hold all the hazardous waste. In December of 2016, the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, now known as Eagle, shut this company down due to repeated violations. Then they reached out to the EPA for help cleaning up the hazardous waste mess. With everything that's been going on lately, I reached out to the EPA to ask what exactly they did during that cleanup in 2017 and why there's still hazardous waste left. In a statement, the EPA tells me in part that during EPA's time critical removal action, the goal was to remove all the direct contact threats, including all containers and all contaminated liquid in the building. The federal agency spent nearly $2 million. They tell me they removed over 5,000 containers and pumped 37,000 gallons of hexavalent chromium contaminated water from the basement. For perspective, that's enough to fill two in-ground swimming pools. The EPA also emptied that pit Sayers dug. It was backfilled and compacted. Subsurface sampling indicated the need for further assessment. The EPA says they passed the property back to Eagle, formerly MDEQ, for further testing and further cleanup. That was in January of 2018. I asked Michigan's Eagle if they've done any further testing or further cleanup in the two years since then, and they told me in a statement basically they are reviewing decades of decision making and that's going to take some time. That clearly did not answer my question, so I asked again. Are you saying the state of Michigan did not do any further cleanup or further testing? And they said, no, we did not. And unfortunately, that is one of thousands of contaminated sites here in the state of Michigan. They don't have the money to even assess how toxic it is, let alone clean it up. So that green ooze on 696 is a sign of a much larger problem in our state, a problem we're going to continue to follow. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.